Welcome to EasyLM Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be looking at the topic uh, nitrogen and its compounds and you're going to look at the action of heat on nitrates. So this is a topic that we have repeated before in Form 2 when we are looking at salts. So you can go back and check that out even as you go through it one more time. So we'll look at the action of heat of different nitrates and then do a few questions. So all nitrates except ammonium nitrate decompose on heating to form or to produce oxygen gas as one of the products. So nitrates can be categorized into four categories based on the products formed when they are heated. So the heat with which the nitrates decompose increases down the electrochemical series of metals. So first, the, met the nitrates of metals high in the electrochemical series like sodium and potassium usually decompose to give metal nitrate and oxygen. So as you can see from the equation, sodium nitrite um, nitrate decomposes to form sodium nitrate and oxygen, and then potassium nitrate decomposes to form potassium nitrite and oxygen. So they do not decompose fully as you can see, because of their high reactivity. Then also we have some metals now that are below these two metals. Uh, they are average in the electrochemical series and they decompose to give the oxides, nitrogen for oxygen, for oxide and oxygen gas. So examples are lead nitrate. When you heat lead nitrate crystals in a boiling tube, and when the products are passed in a YouTube immersed in our water, so excess gases are channeled out through a fume chamber. So what you notice is that the white crystalline de decrepitates. That basically means uh, you're going to hear like some cracking sound and then a colorless gas is liberated and is followed by red brown fumes of gas of nitrogen oxide and then a pale yellow liquid remember there was a youtube in mast in ice so it means the nitrogen oxide is going to be cooled down or condensed in the youtube containing ice cubed and we say that it forms dinitrogen tetraoxide this is due to the condensation of nitrogen oxide so a residue which is red when hot and yellow on cooling, that is the lead 2 oxide, is left in the ignition tube. That is what we are left with at the end of the day. So lead nitrate is heated to produce lead oxide, which is red when hot and yellow when cold. And then uh, nitrogen 4 oxide, which is brown fumes, which are the ones that are condensed to form the yellow mixture called the yellow liquid called the nitrogen tetraoxide, and then we have the oxygen gas, which is now collected. Other, other metal nitrates in the same group with lead 2 nitrate are calcium nitrate, which when heated forms calcium oxide and nitrogen oxide and oxygen. Magnesium nitrate also when heated forms magnesium oxide, nitrogen oxide and oxygen. Zinc nitrate also forms zinc oxide, nitrogen oxide, and oxygen. Copper 2 nitrate also forms copper oxide, nitrogen oxide, and oxygen. It's important you are able to see the changes in color. So you notice most of them are white in color apart from copper. Copper, uh, copper nitrate is a blue solid, but when it's heated, it forms a black solid of copper oxide but for the rest they are in white solid and then zinc oxide also is yellow when hot but white when cold so it's important to remember that even as you study these ox nitrates then uh, the next thing is some of the some of them as you go down uh, the group is they are hydrated and when they are heated fast they give out some water of crystallization an example is calcium nitrate with four molecules of water. When you heat it, you produce calcium nitrate and the water is given off. And then if you continue heating further, you notice the calcium nitrate is going to decompose to, to give calcium oxide, 
uh, nitrogen dioxide and oxygen gas. Then we go to the the third um, type of nitrogen nitrates, which are lower than the ones that we were discussing. So these are mercury and silver that decompose on heating to give metal, nitrogen four oxide, and oxygen gas. So examples are those two, silver and um, mercury. When you heat them, you get the metal. It decomposes fully, which is different from the ones that are just below the highly reactive ones. So you see silver is produced, nitrogen oxide is produced, which is brown, and oxygen is produced. And the fourth is ammonium nitrate, which is an exception. So when you decompose ammonium nitrate, you form nitrogen 1 oxide and water vapor. This reaction has been repeated when we are discussing uh, preparation of nitrogen 1 oxide. So ammonium nitrate is one of the ways to prepare. So ammonium nitrate will produce nitrogen 1 oxide and oxygen. The reaction we said is very explosive, so you have to leave some ammonium nitrate in the tube. You do not heat completely, because if you heat completely, it might cause an explosion. So let's do a few questions in regards to what we have just discussed. The setup below shows the product formed when solid lead to nitrate is heated. So we have the lead 2 nitrate crystals that are being heated. We have liquid X that is being cooled in the high cooled water and then gas Y is also collected. Identify liquid X. So first of all, we know when you heat lead 2 nitrate crystals, you produce uh, lead oxide and nitrogen four oxide and oxygen those are the products so the lead oxide which is um, red when hot and yellow when cold is left in the uh, boiling tube or combustion tube and then nitrogen four oxide and oxygen gas flows through the apparatus so the nitrogen four oxide freezes or changes to a sol to a liquid, and that is what we call the dinitrogen um, tetraoxide, which is written as N2O4. And then the rest of the gas, which is oxygen, it goes to the overwater method. So this is going to be oxygen. So when lead two nitrate crystals are heated, they decrepitate and decompose. What is meant by decrepitating? There is a cracking. So you hear some cracking sound while that reaction is occurring. So that's it. In regards to action of heat on nitrates, so these this, uh, nitrates, we have discussed them in Form 2. It's important you see how they behave because they are commonly tested in the exam because of like the way they have differences they, in regards to the reactivity series. So the ones that are high in the reactivity series do not decompose easily. The ones that are low in the reactivity series decompose fully and then we have the exception which was ammonium nitrate you can look for a way and an acronym to help you to remember how these nitrates behave on different uh, when they are heated remember to also include a heating sign whenever you are to write an equation for the action of heat it's important that heating sign to be there because it shows that the reaction is being heated so that's it for today. So the next lesson we are going to finish up on this topic. We'll be looking at the ways we can test for the presence of nitrates. And then we'll look at the pollution effects of nitrate, nitrogen and its compounds. So see you in the next lesson.